Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? No, no. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough! No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Okay, so we are now going to take a look at the Grim Fandango. This is Henry, and I'm joined with Sean and Annabelle. Hey. Hi. <laughs> so I guess the first thing we're going to do is... Do you want to control, or should I control? Please do control, yeah. Okay. Is that how, how do we but enter? I believe. Enter to do stuff. I believe enter? it is. Okay. Oh, you want him to open this thingy there? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Got it. He's looking at it as well, though. Yeah. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads! Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars! We have a mass poisoning on our hands! Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve! So let's see some hustle out there! Whatever you say, Iffy. Did his accent change? It did. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> um... Okay, so... Ah. So he's looking, so he looks at stuff like if we. I reckon Maybe we can do open so. some. Yeah. Um, oh yes, he's looking at it. He's definitely looking at this. Yeah. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. I don't want to reread the old files. It'll just make me sad. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got like a, like a, like a New York kind of accent now. Yeah. I just, yeah. Books? Can't we leave the room? You just want to get out? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, and that briefcase over there. Oh, something, that black thing. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. So... Oh, wait. Uh, okay. okay. Oh, we're still carrying one. Uh, so I, I think it's play this card P there. to put, um, put it away. P? I think it's P. There we go. Do you want to leave? Mm, yeah. He still has to wait for his buzz, doesn't he? Well, whatever. Why? What? When? From well, the... because that chick over there, she said, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, wait for your buzz. Let's go and see what she says. Yeah. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Oh great, we can... Hmm. Do you start from the top? I have no idea what this last one means. Can we do... I gotta go hit the I think, I think it's means I wanna go. I think if we say that, we'll just leave the conversation. Oh, no, okay, no, no. I think it... I don't okay, know what it means yeah, okay. though. Yeah. What poisoning? Like, yeah, the code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Uh, oh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. Oh, she's cynical. <laughs> Why don't we just skip town tonight? What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. <laughs> well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Yeah, maybe that one. So why are they? Because obviously everyone's dead already because they're all skeletons. Yeah. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good oh, yeah, life? Better than yours <laughs> and mine. <laughs> okay. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Okay. Where uh, is everybody? No, but it's just, well, I gotta go hit the bricks, right? Should I get going? Yeah. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. <laughs> I'm going to use that sentence tomorrow. Okay. Um... Yeah, because Big Mr. Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Mm. Okay. So where do we have to go? There's another door here. Maybe can't we go outside to I don't know pick up these people? We can also um, put him in his uh, death suit. No, whatever. Well, also uh, left oh. shift makes it him run. Oh, that's a good thing to know. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. 